Hey everyone, what's up? I got this new bike rack made by Vibrelli. It's the V70. And what's awesome about this rack here, it's capable of holding fat tire e-bikes up to 65 pounds a piece with a maximum load of 130 pounds for the whole rack. What I'm excited to try about this one, which is different from my current bike rack, is that it has different style wheel holders that uh, hold your wheels instead of them going in the big open loops like my current one. So I'm excited to try that out. If any of you are interested in more detail about this rack, I'll put a link in the video description below. Just expand that description, click on that link, and then you can go check out all the details for yourself along with the current pricing. I'll also put a link to the top two bar that I talk about later in this video if you guys are interested. So let's go ahead and get into it. Thanks for watching. What's nice about this rack here, other than it holding 130 pounds, is like I said, it can, it's uh, fat tire compatible. It has a quick release pedal on the outside, which makes it easily able to fold down to get in the trunk of your vehicle. It has foam cushioned uh, frame clamps to hold your bike securely in the in the mount and it also has a couple security locks to prevent people from stealing the bike off of the back of your vehicle. So we're going to go ahead and open this up real quick see what's in here. Now this may be a little bit of a long review or a uh, long demonstration here but I'm sure it'll answer any questions that you might have about this rack or about the installation of it. Once I get it on here, we're going to see how it holds my heavy 63 pound electric XPE bike along with some regular bikes. And I'm going to go over some measurements with you guys, show you all that. So like I said, this may be a little bit of a long video, but it should answer any questions that you guys may have about this rack. Now, they were nice enough to send me this rack uh, to check out and to test, but I'm not getting paid in any way for this review and it's going to be... Uh, an honest review just like all my other videos so let's go ahead and get into this thing here and uh, see what's all all included now I believe that the shipping label said 55 pounds and that's for the box and everything that's included here um, I'll leave links below to this rack if you guys are interested in checking out the current pricing on it or uh, to see some of the other specs on it. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and check it out in the links below. So now, one thing that I could see already that, I, that I'm really liking is that it has the anti-rattle mechanism on here that's adjustable from the backside here, but you're also able to use a regular pin. Um, my other bike rack, it has a uh, screw type pin that goes through which is the anti-rattle mechanism but to me in my opinion I'd rather use a regular pin in here that way I can buy a, a locking pin to go through here and it would uh, be like a extra security feature all right so I got the rack all unboxed you can see here's the hardware kit here comes with these three bars two for the sides and one for the upright that secures the bikes and then here is the new style wheel holders that I'm excited about trying out. Then it comes with two locking uh, holders to hold the bikes down with nice foam on the ends. It, and it even comes with a locking cable and a lashing strap for strapping the bikes securely to the rack. So let's go ahead, get into putting this thing together and see how it looks. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is install the hitch in the vehicle. And one thing to note, this is only available for a two inch hitch at this time, I don't see that they make a version for the one and a quarter inch hitch. So this will only work if you have a two inch hitch installed on your vehicle. So install that into there and put this pin in. That'll make it a little bit easier to work on. And then you can see how it's loose. You just tighten up this anti-rattle mechanism. Once you get that tight, it tightens it up pretty good. And then you just push this lever and straighten that out. Now, one thing I like about this anti-rattle mechanism here, it's out here, and after you get it tight, you can go ahead and lock this, and that will prevent anyone from being able to steal this off the back of your vehicle. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put these supports on here, put the one on here, and just basically get the rest of it put together, and then we're gonna see how it holds some heavy e-bikes. One thing to note, they do give you a wrench to install this, but I'm gonna go ahead and use a ratchet which is going to make it a little bit quicker and easier.
And the one thing to note, guys, I actually put this one on back, uh, backwards. Uh, the Fibrelli should be facing back, and there's two little uh, tiny screw holes on the bottom of the ends. These get faced down on each of these, and then the third one is for your upright. All right, so now that I got those, those installed, next to is to install the anti-wobble clip and the upright. So here you get two shims that go in, in here, in between here. They call that the anti-rattle upright. And then this goes and gets bolted onto here. So now this cable, this small cable here, goes onto this bolt that secures this upright before you put the bolt through, which goes in the upper hole. And then you put the washer and the nut on the back. And these are 17 millimeter. If you guys want to use your own, your own uh, ratchet like I am, the nuts are 17 millimeter. And then this pin here secures it. I'm going to go ahead and slide these cradles on here, these wheel cradles. Now I'm not going to tighten these up yet. I'm going to leave them a little bit loose. That way I still have some adjustment going back and forth. And once you get those on there, they give you some screws and little lock washers. Those go up in underneath here and that's going to prevent these from being able to be slid, slid off of there. All right, so now I'm gonna get my 63 pound e-bike up on there and see what it looks like. So push this lever down, it folds it down. And this is how I normally load my bike on my other rack. I fold it down and I leave that bar folded down. I usually get my front wheel in first. And then pick the back wheel in up in. And I think I want it to go this way some. Because I like that locking mechanism normally on my bike to come down right here where the frame folds right in front of that. So I'm going to scoot that back until, until that's lined up about there. Now they make two different uh, lengths on these. So you just got to play around and see which one works the best for your bikes. I'm not quite sure which way it's going to work out. I haven't tried it yet, but... Okay, go ahead and put that one there. I might have to reverse the order of this. Yeah, probably will. I'll probably have to put the shorter one over here. Basically, you want to line your uh, axle nuts up with about the center of these wheel holders. That makes uh, sure that your tire is exactly in the center of these. And it's uh. Pretty good there, where it's at. Then you tighten these down. And then what I really like about this rack is these straps here are a nice heavy duty, like plastic rubber with this rubber uh, cushion here. And this secures the wheels down to the rack on kind of a ratcheting system. A lot of the other bike racks, they'll have uh, like Velcro But this one has a nice ratcheting plastic strap here that seems like that really secures that down there good on there. Make sure that's tight. And then once you get those on there tight, then you can go ahead and lock this where you tighten this up and that prevents anybody from being able to unloosen that to steal your bike off the rack. Now we're going to go ahead and see how some other bikes fit on there. I got my son's 20 inch uh, BMX race bike here. 
I'm going to see how that fits on. That would probably work there. And these tires are really small. These are uh, probably not even an inch wide. So it's nice that uh, they should be able to work with those. Oh yeah, secures that down nice and tight there. Let me see. Yep, secures that down nice and tight there. Get this tightened up. Pretty tight. So yeah, that bike fits on there good. And like I said, you're gonna have to play with the wheel holders, adjust them to wherever. You don't want your bikes touching because you don't want them bouncing around and touching. You just wanna play with it until you get all your bikes on there to where nothing is touching and there's a nice gap in between and they're really secure. All right, so we're gonna take this red line race bike off of here and we're gonna see how my wife's bigger bike fits on here. Really like those wheel straps there. One other thing that I really like about this rack is that both of these uh, holders here, both of these hold downs come with a lock. My other bike rack, it only had one lock. You were to lock the top one and it was supposed to prevent the bottom one from sliding up, but a lot of times you can still slide the bottom one up and be able to get the bike out without it being locked. So that's really nice that this one does have a locking mechanism on both of these. <clears throat> All right, so you can see I got the second bike mounted on here, nothing's touching. And I don't have the tire strapped in, but they'll strap in no problem. Now, one thing about, uh, women's bikes is they go down really far like this and a lot of times you're not able and it's not secure enough to use this like this so you're going to want to get one of these it's a top tube uh, this one's made by Allen Sport it's a top tube adapter and basically you just put this on here like this and then it's spring loaded this comes up like that and then you're able to clamp down onto this, which will secure it a lot better. And it even recommends in the manual, if you're securing a bike like this, to use a top tube bar like this one. Overall, it looks like a pretty good rack. I do like these wheel straps on here to strap these wheels down. And we're gonna go ahead over a few measurements real quick and show you guys how far it sticks off the car and how much room you have in between the two bikes when they are mounted. All right, so I went ahead and swapped those out to show you guys. Now it fits a little bit better like this with that top, that top tube bracket installed there. Uh, you can see I put the shorter one up top. I switched them out and it definitely mounted a little bit better with that being on there. Okay, now some of the measurements I wanna go over with you. Now between the wheels, between the, from the center of this one to the other bike, you have about nine and a half inches there between the two. From where it goes into the hitch on the car to the back of the quick release, you got about 28 inches and you got about 31 inches to the back side of here from where it goes into the hitch to the back side of here. So 28 and about 31. And then on here with the CRV, this is a 2007 Honda CRV. I'm gonna go ahead, tilt the bikes down and see if the hatch opens up. Push the foot lever down, tilt the bikes. And there's plenty of room there, hatch opens no problem. And this is on a 2007 Honda CRV. Tilt the bikes back up. The 
This is just a test to see how secure they are, how much they're going to bounce around. Now the hitch is tight in the car. There's a little bit of play where these go. Now I recommend uh, they do send a strap right here. They do send a strap to strap everything down tight just in case something wouldn't hold. It helps with you know bouncing and everything. I would recommend definitely using this on your trips or using like a ratchet strap or something just to tighten everything up to give it less bounce. And that's with any rack. I recommend that with any rack. Another nice feature when you're not using the rack, it folds up really tight to the car and gets up out of the way really nice. And one other thing that's nice is they do give you this nice long cable lock to be able to lock the bikes to the car or the bike rack to the car. Now this isn't going to prevent theft, but it might deter it. Now cable locks, they're not the greatest thing. They are easy to cut, um, but then again, you could cut chain locks just as well with a grinder. But this is nice that they do include this just if you know, you're running in somewhere real quick. This is a nice deterrent uh that's able to actually use the same key with the rack and with the lock which is definitely a nice feature another thing that i would recommend is the little quick release step here i would i mean just because i'm a cautious type of person i would probably strap that up with a little bungee or something just so that it wouldn't bounce down and release the bikes i don't think you would have a problem with it but you could see with the weight of the bikes as it goes down it stays down there uh, It'll bounce back up if the bikes bounce around, but I would definitely secure that just to prevent anything happening where that could possibly go down while you're driving with the bikes and the bikes fall down like that. So if you guys have any questions, please put them below in the, in the comments and I'll try to answer any questions that you guys may have. And if you guys are interested in this rack or this top two bar, if I can find it, I'll put links down below to it. Go ahead and check those out. Appreciate you guys watching. If like I said, if uh, one thing that I do like about these style wheel holders is they will hold bikes with smaller than 20 inch wheels. On my other rack, it has the big loops and you can't put a 16 inch bike in there. My son had a 16 inch bike, it would not work. It would work with this rack because the tires just sit on this holder here. So that's definitely one nice feature about this rack. And I do like that it's capable of holding up to 130 pounds. So it should be, uh, heavy duty enough to carry my bikes no problem and not to have to worry about that so if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up it really helps my channel out and make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified of any future videos thanks for watching and i will see you guys around on the next one